Hello there everybody, Sam's Trains here, welcome to another train simulator video. Now, I've done the unthinkable. If you look on the screen, look, I bought some terriers, in fact I've selected one. Uh, so this cost me 11 .99. I think, um, I don't think I've ever spent any money on actually buying new engines. People have always been really kind and uh, sent them to me, but no, I thought, you know what, it's time. I actually bought an engine. Uh, I fancy it, and I'm going to do it. So I've done so. I've got some Terriers. So looks like we've got the uh, Improved Engine Green Terrier, or the Southern Engine, or well, Southern Green Terrier. So I think we're going to try the uh, the Stroudly Improved Engine Green. Um, I don't really know. Uh, I don't know what you reckon. Where shall we go? Uh, I have got the Great Central Railway, but unfortunately the, the assets are not complete for that one, so I won't be able to do that. Um, well... Let's try the Portsmouth direct line, whatever that is. I don't know anything about it. I think it's a modern line, but uh, who cares? <laughs> so that's a light engine. We need to add some... Uh, ooh, blimey. This is going to test me. So we need to find out how to add some stuff to this engine. So let's have a look, see what I've got. Uh, pop some wagons behind it or something. Um, I don't know exactly... Um, yeah, I don't really know exactly what this would do. So let's add a few of these, shall we? Three, four, five, and a break. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I don't want to just do it light, because I think that would be dull, wouldn't it? Uh, okay, um, well, let's say goods. Okay, so there we go. It's got a bit of a, a goods train. There we go. Uh, don't really mind where we do it. Uh, it's spring right now, or it might be summer by the time this video comes out, but we'll, we'll, we'll say it's spring. Uh, let's have, it doesn't really matter, does it? But uh, let's not have Stormy or anything like that. That would not be good. And, uh, yeah, let's let's try it. I don't really mind where we start or anything like that. Um, I just want to try the Terrier, to be perfectly honest with you. So let's do this. Now, I've not tried the Terrier at all. This will be the first ever time I'm trying it. So, yes, it will take a while. I'm not going to be used to the controls or anything like that. But, uh, yes, we will just... The idea of this video is just to try it, see what it's like. Right. Now, is that going to be too noisy? Hang on. No, I think we should be okay with that. Right. Let's have a look then. Okay. Interesting. Well, I did select the, <laughs> the Stroudly Improved Engine Green Terrier, but uh, obviously I didn't figure out yet how to change the livery. But still, this looks pretty good to me, doesn't it? It's not a livery I recognise personally, but uh, it does look very lovely. There we are. Cows. <laughs> okay. Let's not be ignorant. Okay. So the goods train has come together quite nicely. Oh, blimey press the wrong thing there. Uh, yeah, what's the free camera button? Is this it? No, I don't think so. Uh, right, so that's the map. Blimey, I have to get, I have to sort of learn how to use Train Simulator again, don't I, at the start of these videos. But this is it, okay. So let's have a quick look at this train that we've got to haul. I'm hoping the Terrier will be fine with this, by the way. I'm hoping it won't be a problem. So yeah, I mean, it's quite a nice model in game, isn't it? It certainly looks the part. It's a bit of a tight cab, I must say. And, uh, yeah, these wagons look pretty large in comparison. In fact, that happens with models as well, doesn't it, where terriers are concerned. And, yes, this was the Academy brake van, so it's got sort of uh, bizarre wasp stripes on it. Right, OK. So it looks like it's a 25 miles per hour limit. Uh, let's bring up some heads-up display then. So there we go. So, OK, it's only three miles to go, so that's quite good. We haven't got far to go. And uh, what we'll do is... Yes, we'll just leave that there. So, yeah, the controls look to be reasonably simple, don't they? So that's the regulator, okay. That will be the firebox doors, all right. Reverser there, injector there, and the brake, all right. Well, that all looks fairly straightforward, doesn't it? Shall we, uh, shall we give it a spin? Let's have a look at some of the gauges. So that's your pressure. It's a little high, so we probably should get off, otherwise the safety valves might go off. And uh, what's that? That's the brake. Okay, so I'm assuming that's the brake pressure, but we'll, we'll know soon enough, won't we? Right, so, so that's the brake. We can leave that where it is. Uh, where was the reverser then? That's probably this, is it? Right. So we'll send it to full forwards. I think that's right. Tiny little bit of regulator. And we'll release the brakes, and I can see by the platform that we're moving, so that's pretty exciting. It's not easy to see the brake gauge, I must say, but we can just about see it. So as soon as that settles, I'll uh, set the brakes to running and save a little bit of steam. So there we are, that looks to have done the job. So that goes to 
running. There we are. Blimey, it is a modern setup, isn't it, this one? It's definitely not a, I don't know, a layout of antiquity or a map of antiquity, I should say. Anyway, what am I on about? Let's do this. So, a bit more regulator. Let's wind the reverser back a little bit, not too far. I think, have we exceeded the... I wonder if we did set off the safety valve. I'm not 100% sure. Right. So the limit apparently is 40 at the moment. Uh, no idea really of the top speed of a Terrier, but I imagine they wouldn't be awfully quick. But we'll put that to the test today. We will find that out. Oh, and I didn't whistle, did I? That's the one thing I didn't figure out. Where is the whistle? Blimey. Condenser. Whistle. Wow, that's cool. So you literally power the whistle directly. You can see the whistle right there. And there's just literally a probably a valve on the other side. So you've got this cool like button to operate it with. That's very cool. That's very cool. Right. Let's give it some welly, shall we? See if we can't get it to speed up. Well, we're accelerating. Oh, gosh. I think that's just a level cr crossing, isn't it? Hello. Oh, we've, we've held up some buses. Oh well, I mean it's not every day you get to see a terrier like this. So uh, blind me, why? Why is there such? Why are there so many buses? That's bizarre. Blind me. Oh well, well we're off. Let's see if we can have a look out the window. Oh yes, we can. Hello, workman. Let's see if I can make them jump. There we are. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing. There seems to be an orange gas coming from those skips. Don't know whether they're discarding of, I don't know, hazardous waste or something. I don't know. Right, so that's a firebox view. That's the right-hand window view. And we can look out of the right side of the cab. Wow. Well, this is nice. I'm enjoying driving this so far. I've completely neglected the controls, so we better better get to that. Um, it seems to be fairly good steaming as well. I've not been very careful with the, uh, the pressure, and it seems to have maintained, so that's pretty good. 40... Well, we're speeding up, but there's hardly any gradient. One in 137, so I suppose it's no surprise, is it? And we're going to go for a perfect stop this time. If possible, I'm going to try and stop perfectly within the station. Almost certainly it won't work, but we'll try. I always try. <laughs> so I wonder, is there a way to change the livery on these? I've, I've, to be honest, I'm a bit of a, a noob when it comes to train simulator. I, uh, I don't know what I ought to know. But, uh, you know, it's just a little bit of fun from time to time. You do get a great view, by the way. I mean, this is something you never get to, you never get a sense of this from the models. But you do get a great view from the, uh, from the front cab, from, well, from the cab, out of the front windows. Yeah, it's quite impressive, that. Right, let's see what this baby's got then, shall we? 90% uh, regulator. I don't know if I've got the reverser a little bit too far wound back now. Yeah, no, it was, it was about right how it was, I reckon. Let's set it to 30. Again, if I knew the sort of actual speed range of the Terriers, I would uh, probably have a better guess at that, but I can't imagine they'd be going much faster than 60-odd, I guess, I don't know. I'll look it up after this. But yeah, Train Simulator seems to be working very, very well now that it's 64-bit. As I say, I don't know how old this, this particular... Um, I keep wanting to say layout, it's not really layout, is it? I suppose root is the better term. I don't know how old it is. It looks relatively well detailed though, and there's quite a lot of different... Oh gosh. Ah gosh. <laughs> yeah, it is well detailed. There's quite a lot going on here. Not many leaves on the trees to say it's spring, I guess, but I won't criticise. Right, so we, are seem we do seem to be wasting a little bit of pressure here. So let's wind the old... Regulator down a touch. We're still accelerating. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, to be honest, I've done worse, haven't I, in terms of crawling along slowly. This doesn't seem like a, a bad speed at all for the Terriers. And they are great. I mean, it's, I think this is probably even worth the 11 quid something I spent. It's got to be, hasn't it? I will have a quick look at the end, though, and see if I can't uh, mess around with the settings and see which other versions of this I've got. As I say, I'm sure I saw a Stroudly one. That begs the question as to uh, what loads up when you choose the Southern one as well. Obviously, it's a slightly different... I think they had some modifications, didn't they, in real life? 
by the time they were with the Southern Railway. But uh, yeah, I'd like to see what livery it comes out in. If indeed you can't change it, if you can change it, then we'll we'll find that out as well. So we've hit 40, and we're still going pretty well. Um, seem to be still losing a little pressure. In fact, I can find out, can't I? Yeah, we are dropping at a touch. Let's wind the reverser back. 10%. that down yeah we can't we don't seem to be um, steaming particularly well now uh, right in that case then I need to have a look at some of these controls condenser I forget what the condenser does now so I'm gonna leave it alone that's the blower maybe that's what we need <laughs> we could open up the, uh, the what's it get some more uh, coal in there if you like me in my technical terms opening up the what's it Hmm. Well, that seems to be better. We're building pressure again now, but a little bit slowly. Just leave the regulator at about 30% while we do this. Uh, we've got plenty of coal in there. We've not got far to go. In fact, we need to think about stopping, really. Yes. Right. Well, a bit of a fluster now because I didn't think about that. So we'll bring this to a stop. There we are. You know what? I think we might miss this if we're not careful. Yeah, let's let's get this brake applied. Come on now. It's okay, folks. We're slowing down. <laughs> oh gosh. Right, let's not go too crazy. Yep, let's release it again. Oof, thank goodness it's only a small train. I was, I was kind of getting carried away with all the different uh, controls and things without actually thinking about what I needed to do. Anyway, I think we've gotten away with it now, or at least I hope so. Come on, a bit more. Hey, this might be one of the most accurate station stops I've ever done. Not intentionally, of course. There we go. Apply very gently. Look at this, it's going to be a gentle stop. There we are. Very nice. Well, we're here. Now everybody can unload. I don't know, is it not the done thing to speak to you? Coal wagons. Right, there we are. Well, we're loading and unloading anyway. Whether that's going to do anything. And apparently, there we are. <laughs> well, that was quick. That was easy. Right, good. Well, let's have a mess around then. And because uh, I really want to see this improved engine green terrier. So, I wonder if we have to go into. I don't know how to do this, so I'm just going to have to look into this, aren't I? So, I wonder if I can just go in. Oh, gosh. Plus 37, no thank you. Um, yeah, let's see if we can edit it. I don't know, I don't know. It should be possible if they are there. So, will it be a different item in this menu? I would have thought so. Right. Oh, we've got some Stradley coaches, I didn't know that. Oh, excellent. Okay, well we should have used those then, shouldn't we? They look gorgeous, in fact. I wonder if they came with the loco, then. Right, well, now we're looking under wagon, so that's probably why. So now let's have a look at Terrier. Let's research. No results. That isn't very reassuring, is it? What's going on there? Let's try again. Drive. Let's start this again, shall we? So, I'm going to pick this shroud leap. You want terrier? Uh, let's just go to light engine again then. Yes, that's a bit odd. I wonder if I'll, I'll try and search something else instead. Well, it's there now. Look, although it looks a little messed up in that view. Strange. Right. Let's try a one. Hmm. Well, there they are, folks. Hey, can we double head? Does that work? We've got the. Oh, I see. So we've got the name Southern Green one. And then the olive green one. Oh, well, no, well, it's got to be that. Okay. Well, let's put two terriers on, shall we? 
A, this is going to be fun if it works. I don't know if we'll have to control both. That'll be fun, won't it? And then let's put Terrier. I don't know how the consist would look. Um, but let's just do, let's say, four coats. Let's do one of each, shall we, with a break at the end. That sounds agreeable. Okay. Double header. Hey, I'm looking forward to this. This is what it's all about. I don't think I've ever done this before. Uh, okay, well, let's do a slightly different... Let's do a slightly different run. I don't know what I've just done. I might have set us to do like a 20-mile stretch or something like that. Hopefully not. Now, if I knew a bit more about Train Simulator, I'd figure out a way to have one sort of self-drive or maybe even control both. But as it is, I don't know how to do that. So we'll have to see how this works or see what happens if I just try and drive one. But no, there we go. We've got the improved engine green now. Right, what button did I want this one? Let's have a look at it, shall we? For the first time, as I say, I've never driven these before. Fulham. Oh, hello. You're uh, looking a bit sombre, aren't you? You're not having a good time. Would you rather be in the uh, the black version here? Same bloke. He's twins. Anyway, yeah, that looks good, doesn't it? Pretty good indeed. Very nice. Oh, gosh. Right. And the coaches, of course. In fact, I wonder if we can get a view inside. <laughs> Look at all these people that are sort of dressed up in Victorian clothes. That's pretty funny. Because <laughs> they're obviously in a, a modern-day world. <laughs> Look, like modern people walking around. And then you've got this bloke in a very odd hat, frankly. Uh, so, yeah, m maybe they're just on an excursion, or maybe they're on a trip out from the mental hospital. I'm not 100% sure. I think the latter is probably true. Blimey. Look at that blank stare. Anyway, can we sit inside the coach? Yeah, we can. Oh, no. We seem to be in the in the break section here with some people's cases. Is that all? Is that the only view I get? Yeah, I think so. Right, so I'm the guard, am I? Okay. All right, well, let's try it then. So, am I not in control of this second engine then? Or... Ah, there we are. Can I control this? I seem to be able to, yeah. So, it is different. It is very different. So... This must be the original condition, I suppose. Um, yeah, so let's have a little look at this. So this is the brake. So the brake's slightly different, although we still have the engine brake. So they've obviously got a separate train brake, or maybe the fact that we've got passenger stuff behind it has made a difference. No, because this one's still the same. Okay. So that's interesting. The gauges are a bit better. You can see those a bit better. Uh, so what's that? So that's your pressure. It looks to be about the same. Uh, yeah, that's that's all brakes, isn't it? Um, oh, look, we've got a LBNSC gauge there. I'm not sure what that one is. Or is that the brakes? Ah, I see, yeah. Main reservoir and train pipe. Oh, right. Oh, interesting. Well, let's see what happens. In. So, as I say, I don't know what what the limbo is for this. Do I just control the f one engine and the other one will follow suit, or do I have to do the same with both? Well, I'll tell you what. Let's try it with this one. I if I, I would have thought if either's going to work, it would be the front one, but we'll try it. Okay, well, reverse her ahead. Here we go. 75%. Slightly, is, it, is it me or is it a slightly different uh, regulator? Well, that doesn't seem to be doing anything. There we are, and that's releasing. We'll leave that one there then. Well, it does seem to be doing something. Are we released? Nearly. Yeah, and I can see the engine in ahead is chuffing, so if that's anything to go by, it seems to be working. The wheels aren't slipping or anything, which means that's worked. Right, so in that case then, let's head into the front engine and see what we've got. Yeah, it does seem to be mirrored, I think, doesn't it? Good. Well, that means I can keep driving the uh, pre-grouping one, then. That's good. Right, in that case, let's wind back the reverser a little bit. And there's an awful, noticeably, an awful lot more power. Oh, sorry. I'm speeding. Noticeably an awful lot more power with the two engines, which is great. There we are. Yeah, the speed limit is... Uh, where's the speed limit? Can't see. 15, there it is. Honestly, gone and broken the speed limit already, but this is great. This is awesome. Look at this. This is what it's all about, isn't it? Cool. 
Right, well, we're dropping in speed now, so I don't know whether we've hit an incline or what, but yeah, it's not, uh, it's not looking good, is it? We seem to have dropped pressure quite a bit, which hasn't taken very long, has it? And yes, amazingly, there is 35 miles of this, so we'll uh, we'll drive until we're tired of it, and then we'll stop. Because <laughs> I don't fancy doing 35 miles on video. I'd do it happily otherwise, but... Right, we're slowing down. That's not good. I wonder if I've gone and... Uh... You can hear that barking, can you hear that? That's the famous terrier bark, isn't it? Alright, where's the blower? Let's turn that on. Because as I say, we're, we seem to be losing pressure quite dramatically. I don't know whether that's true with both of them. Let's go into cab number one. Uh, cab number one seems to be okay on the pressure front. So they are independent where that's concerned. That's interesting. So they seem to handle differently. Very interesting. Right. Well, we're going to have to take this easy then, aren't we? Because... We've gone and gotten a little bit too uh, too much pressure lost straight away. Uh, out of interest, I haven't left this on the wrong setting, have I? I don't think that's doing anything, but I could be wrong. <laughs> if I leave it on somewhere in the middle, that's on running, right? right what's that? That's a small injector. I won't, I won't mess around with that. Yeah. Just make sure we are released. Yeah, there we are running there we go oh we're speeding again crikey i tell you what yeah it runs away with you with two engines it's a big difference Nyong. i forget which key it is now to to whistle there we are thought i'd do it what is it i thought it was h or space oh oh what's happened ah <sighs> there's been an error folks there's been an error well Maybe that's the end of that particular little drive. <laughs> well, thank you for that train simulator, and I can't seem to quit. There we go, I've quit now. Ah, well, I mean, maybe that's a good time to end it. We've had a good run, and I now know how to double head, so that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, it crashed. That's a bit of a pain, isn't it? Oh well. Well that was fun, so we'll do some more of that next time. If you've got any suggestions on what I should do with those terriers again next, um, then do let me know. But uh, for the time being I think we'll leave it there. Let's just have another quick look at some of the others that are available. Let's uh, let's load them in and just have a look. Um, right, so what did we do? So, I need to edit the consist, don't I? Uh, let's edit the double header and just have a look. Let's make a quadruple header just to finish things off with a bang. Let's put them all on. Right, okay. So, we want steam, terrier, oh, I think I need to put A1. Okay, so we've got that one on already, we've got that one on, let's have the southern engine green on, up to the front, and the olive green. Ooh, this is going to be fun. Okay. Put four times header, I don't know what the technical term would be, I don't imagine you would get many uh, quadruple headers going on in real life, but you certainly are this time. Right, let's see how this goes. In fact, let's just blast it, shall we? Let's have a bit of fun. Max them out. And see how fast we can go. See if we can get a speeding ticket, so to speak. Right, let's look at this then. What have we created? Oh. Right, it's not worked. Try again, hang on. Okay, I didn't press confirm. I think that's the, uh, the fatal error there. Wow, this is something, isn't it? <laughs> Blimey. <laughs> let's have a look. What a scene. It's completely unnecessary, obviously. We've almost got more engine than we have coaches on this one. But, uh, yeah, we've got uh, Mr. Identical here. He's actually not a twin. He was part of a litter of four, it looks like, because he's present on every single one of these with exactly the same look on his face and exactly the same pose. So that's odd. And you can see the different variants here, which is cool. Yeah, very cool. Right. So let's just do this, shall we? Let's release the brakes. Uh, oh, no, that's not the brakes. What is he like? Oh, that noise. Oh, there's smoke absolutely everywhere. Wow. <laughs> the acceleration there is crazy. We've got uh, sparks flying out of the chimney, which is pretty unbelievable. The acceleration is actually similar to a car with four of them. It's pretty crazy. Look at that. That's awesome. 
Right. Let's see how fast we can get this to go then. It's going to be short lived because I'm not looking out for the pressure or anything. And that southern green is lovely, I must say. I think that's fantastic. Right, let's see what we can do here then. I mean, we're not going to be we're not going to be going ultrasonic, are we, in terriers? But it will be interesting to see what they're capable of. Well, we've hit thirty pretty quick, but you can tell that they're not built for speed because they've uh, the acceleration has dropped quite a bit, hasn't it? But we're we're okay. Seem to be doing pretty well. Wow. This is awesome. I'm going to have to do this with a few other engines. See what uh, crazy combinations we can come up with. <laughs> this is awesome, though. I wish I could do this on my railway. I suppose I could, with enough terriers. Oh, got my head taken off by the trees there. Right, well, we've hit 40. That's pretty good. Let's build up some pressure again, shall we? Where's the blower? I don't know what the control is for the blower. I suppose it'd be down here, won't it? No, perhaps not. Is it? Alternative view. Blower. Yeah, there it is. So I can turn it on there. We don't need the sander unless we really want to accelerate. <laughs> I mean, we seem to be going down a bit of a, a slope, so we're, we're actually maintaining speed and slightly accelerating as well. We ought to make the most of this then. Let's give it some more. Give it some more regulator. There we are, this is more like it, isn't it? I wonder what happens if we whistle all of them. Ooh, that's a different whistle. Is it? Let's try the other one, I'm sure that's a different whistle. Oh no, perhaps it's not then. Yeah, it is, there we go. So it's interesting, because even this will sort of tell you some of the differences between the various versions of the Terrier in real life. I wouldn't really have necessarily known about that whistle being different. So there we are, I mean, that's that's handy in itself, isn't it? So, we're accelerating handsomely. Handsomely, you like that? I actually didn't leave the brakes on running, which won't help. There we go. Flip. This looks an awful lot faster than 50 miles an hour. Is it just me, or are we really, really flying along now? Look at the wheels. And the sound seems to be glitching out. That's probably because it's having to play for lots of sound effects. And, oh, we've popped again. It's crashed. Blimey, why is it crashed again? I don't know. Oh, well, that was it. That's a little bit of the bucket list ticked off, isn't it? Stop this. There we go. <laughs> right, folks. Well, that was fun, actually. I'm glad we did that in the end. Well, thanks for watching. We'll try that again next time with some more triple headers or maybe even more than three headers. I don't know. Three or four or five. Let's try it. Uh, oh, well, thanks for watching, folks. I apologise it kept crashing. That's odd. Hmm. Oh, well. Take care, folks. Thanks for watching.